Hello, I'm Uma Arora from JustTutors.com and in today's video, we are going to talk about the chapter is matter around the spear. So the main topics which we are going to cover in this video are physical and chemical changes and then we are going to talk about types of pure substances. So let's move forward and here are a few pre-assessment questions for you. You can pause the video here and you can give them a try and once you are done, you can resume the video to check your answers. We will pat your back if all of your answers are correct and now let's move forward and let's have a quick discussion about physical and chemical change. Well there are some changes during which no new like no new substance are formed and on the other hand there are some changes during which new substances are formed. So on the basis of this property like whether new substances are formed or not we can classify all the changes into two groups. The first one is physical change and the second one is chemical change. So first let's talk about physical changes. So those changes in which no new substance are formed are called physical changes. So in a physical change the substances which are involved do not change their identity. So it means that they can be easily returned to their original form by some physical process and this means that physical changes can be easily reversed to form the original substance. For example, when ice is heated, it melts to form water. Though ice and water look different, they are both made up of water molecules and thus no new chemical substance is formed during the melting of ice. So we can say uh, the melting of ice to form water is a physical change. Now let's talk about chemical change. So we can say that those changes in which new substances are formed are called chemical changes and a chemical change is also called a chemical reaction. So in a chemical change the substances which were involved change their identity and they get converted into entirely new substances. And usually the new substances which are thus created cannot be returned to their original form. So let's talk about one of the examples of chemical change. So when a magnesium wire is heated, it burns in air to form a white powder which is called magnesium oxide and this uh, magnesium oxide is an entirely new substance. So this was all about physical and chemical change and now let's move forward and let's talk about pure matter. Well pure matter are made up of same type of particles which cannot be separated into simpler particles by any physical process. So pure substances are of two kinds. The first one is elements and then we have compounds. If you talk about elements, uh, we can say that they are basically made up of only one kind of atoms and if you talk about compounds, they are made up of only one kind of molecules. And now let's discuss about each of them in detail. So the first one is elements. So we can say that element is a basic form of matter that cannot be broken down into simpler substances by any chemical reaction. And it is divided into three categories, metals, non-metals and metalloids. So let's have a quick discussion about metals and non-metals. So if you talk about metals, they are lustrous, like they have shine, whereas non-metals are dull in appearance. Metals are good conductor of heat and electricity, whereas non-metals are poor conductor of heat and electricity. And with that, all the metals are solid at room temperature except mercury. And if you talk about non-metals, they could be solid, liquid or gas at room temperature. So this was all about metals and non-metals. Now let's talk about metalloids. Well, metalloids have properties intermediate between those of metal and non-metals. So this was all about elements. Now let's move forward towards the next topic, which is compounds. So as we know that a compound is a substance composed of two or more elements chemically combined with one another in a fixed proportion. So it can be decomposed into its constituent elements by suitable chemical methods and it can be decomposed into its constituent elements by suitable chemical methods. For example, you can think of water or oxygen. So now let's see that what is the difference between mixture and compound. So if you talk about mixture and that elements just mix together to form a mixture and no new compound is formed. However, in case of compound, elements react to form new compounds. 
if you talk about example for mixture that could be soil and for compound could be water so this was all about compounds now let's move forward and here are a few questions for you to practice you can pause the video here and you can give them a try and once you are done you can resume the video to check your answers well congratulations if all of your answers are correct and thank you for watching this video for more please visit justutors.com